Hello, good morning. How is everybody? It is a bright day out there. Now, it is overcast, but it's a bright day. Oh, look, if we look through the window, you guys can see Empire State Building. I always feel like space. Like this is a space age thing. It almost gives me Millennium Falcon. For real. I always wonder, is this what people feel and see when they get off the train for the first time and they come into New York, like they experience Penn Station and the first thing they think when they come out, hi there, Din Din, Adriana, Faco, Krill, is the Empire State Building. Think about that. That's kind of cool. They did a good job on that. There it is. Hi there, M. Zabrano. Did I miss somebody? Nope, I think I got everybody so far. Okay. There it is. We got clouds today. We got clouds. Clouds in the sky. Clouds and clouds and clouds. Weather today is going to be about just above 50. Maybe a little breezy. RJ, hi, Michelle King. Welcome in. Look at, they're still working. They're slaving away on this whole Penn Station thing, man. Wow. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go. Let's get our walk on. It is really bright out, though. Hi, Karina. Right. I'm going to say let's walk down. We're not even going to go to the Macy's because the whole goal is we're going to walk. Oh, it is a little more windier over here. Hi, Sandy Moonstone. I ain't got no chomix. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. But we're going to walk down to the market. I'm hoping she said she's back to her normal schedule this weekend so she's supposed to be here parts of nyc the un oculus give me the united freedom of planet they so do hi jessica welcome in treat 99 don't they hey there enjoy nantucket they really do give you the Federation of Planets kind of vibe, don't they? And I kind of wonder, like, is that, like, where, like, some of the inspiration came from? Like, you know, of course, any metro, metropolitan area, massive metropolitan area gives that. But I really do feel like NYC inspires a lot of that. Why? I don't got any idea. Hey, C-Gem. Hey, Ambrose. Yo, what's up? Let me tell you guys. I don't know if it was the chicken, the cheese, maybe the pork bun, but something last night was not sitting right. I made it through. Nothing was purged, but yo, it was rough. Mecca of sports entertainment. Let's go Rangers. I know, right? Oh my god, a taxi stand. I haven't seen those in forever. Still use that? Really? Didn't even know. Go figure. I figure we'll walk down 7th a little bit. Then we'll cut over through the flower district. And then to keep the whole plant thing going, we're gonna go down she and walk it. has two daughters. Over at Me Union Square. And Gemma, I don't know what she's yelling about. But apparently she's passionate. Good morning, Ronnie C. I was playing knickknack on your chest? No, it was on my stomach. 
I was like, yo. I mean, it was really good. I don't know, maybe it was too spice. Hey, Walt Money. Might have been a little too spicy, as Joe said. You never know. Maybe he was right. Don't let him know that. You think it was due to one of the 15 violations? I don't know. What Joe was fine. He was absolutely fine. It felt more like... Like it might have been spice. Felt like it might have been the spice. You know how you can tell the difference between like, oh, it's not right, or it's that was too spicy. Because it settled down a little bit after about I don't know an hour after getting home. I was just uncomfortable. We'll say that. But hey, it happens sometimes. Hello there, Julie. Yeah, I think it might have been luscious, Liz. This spice is sauce. We won't do that again. Yeah, we'll skip the spiciness, okay? We'll be like, we'd like the most, the, the most delicate flower sauce you have. How about that? Anyway, it is Friday, guys. Friday, one week prior to my birthday. I think I'm just gonna go with the flow on my birthday, you know what I mean? I know I've talked about it a little bit, like what do I do, what do I do? I don't know. I never know until the day. It all depends on the weather, what I'm vibing. I think today I might be. All right, sir, you and your big ass truck. I think today I might take the train and go meet Joe. You watched the replay from last night? Joe was sad. He's always sassy. Joe's at work. So I may just take the train down to go meet him so he doesn't have to drive all the way back home in case we want to go do something fun. Hi, Daniela. You know. Be like, ta-da! I'm here. Now, I did let him know. Just in, just in case... He decides, oh, I'm gonna leave early. But he doesn't do that without knowing that I'm on the way. That's happened. Secret rendezvous, I know. Hey, David Valentine, how are you? Ooh, that big building right there on the right? That's FIT. The Fashion Institute of Technology. One of the major, major, major fashion schools here in the city. Griffin, always good to see you. Oh, he got a little blow up thing. Oh, that's a little thing. A little tigger thing for tips. No. I'm not giving the vendor dude a tip. Come on. Like your price is already priced with the tip included. For real. This is 28th. I swear. Should we go down 28th or 27th? Let's go down 27th. I think 27th is more of the vibe. I don't know. Oh, whatever. We'll go down this one. I can't remember. Let's just get ourselves walking. How about that? We passed stuff. We passed stuff. FedEx be delivering. I don't know how they sort stuff. Oh my god, next to FedEx is UPS. They clearly, I don't know how they sort stuff in their carts. Hi, crazy grandma. Julie B. Tip culture is out of control. I know. It is. Oh, this is the right thing. The tip culture thing is cracking me up. Now, I will tell you, at the coffee shop, up by me, that Korean one that I like to go to, they actually, she's doing it, she actually clicks no tip. Like, she actually clicks no tip before she even hands it to me. Like, I don't even get a chance. Oh, 
Oh, Trayton, you wish you missed it. You left you Sunday. You miss it. Oh, you just saw a thing about the 28th is the plant street. That's what I thought. It is. I like to think about it every so often. We are not buying plants. We have enough plants at our place. Oh, here it is. Look. Would you like a plant? A lot of plants out here. Like they drag this stuff out all the time. <laughs> like this is a damn forest, right? I feel like I'm in somebody's backyard. Like I should be looking over the, like, the hedge. Hey, Nanette Murphy. Happy Friday. How are you? I feel like I should be looking over the, like you know, like into the neighbor's yard. There's so much stuff. Like who's buying this? Like you're clearly not buying this to put it in your apartment. Hi, Annette Morales. Leela, good to see you. Bones, how you doing? You know what's funny is that Ajizan Ramen is still there. Annette, did you ever go there with us? Ajizan Ramen it was a place we would go to when Josh went to school at FIT. When he first, when he moved here, before we moved here, over a decade ago, and it's still there. I think that's wild. Hello, LAB. Misty Voss, good morning. Oh, he got one of those really skinny European cigarettes. Like his cigarette was on a diet. Did you ever see those where the cigarette is so skinny? Like, I don't even know how it just doesn't burn up in one fell swoop. It's like, whoop. Like, that cigarette is like a quarter of the size diameter. Whoop. Hey, Robson. District. Look at all this. Look at all this. This is so in case you kind of feel like you miss all those greenhouses in the suburbs. We got it right here. And it's got the biggest backpack and she doesn't care. She's just everywhere. Oh, they're looking to check in for the weekend. You can tell. I can't even imagine. And as we saw on one of my streams the other time, they had some trees and they were taking them up with a ginormous crane. And I was like, damn, that's a big ass crane. It was. Let me see, what did you say? Oh my God, this past weekend we saw Arabic cigarettes and they were like half the size of American cigarettes. I took a picture of the box. Oh, I need to see. Yeah, put it in Discord. Cigarettes from around the world. That's a whole thing. God knows what's my... I don't even know. Like... Is the tobacco different? I mean, I'm assuming it would be. Right? Okay, we're going to make it down this way. Oh, no. This was skinnier than that. This looked like... You know how you had the fake little skinny cigarettes that were candy? They were skinnier than that. And those are skinny. All right, come on. Do we really need to color the cacti? That to me is crazy. Like the cacti are colored. What is that? I feel like I would like the colored cacti out front. The rainbow of flavors. People want twigs. They're like, can I please have as many twigs? Oh, he must sell out of them. But like as many twigs as possible. I kind of love it when people go grocery shopping and like Joe tells me all the time 
he gets mad because I don't want to buy a 10 cent bag or whatever they charge for the bag now. And I don't, I get frustrated. It does, it almost looks like a coral reef instead of a cacti. Maybe I should just put like a fish statue in the middle of it all. I know, apparently everybody loves good twigs. I feel like you could go clean up the, you know, park and get your own twigs. Just don't cut them. You know, don't cut the twigs. They must have fallen naturally. We've already made it to 26th Street. We've almost walked, almost walked 10 blocks already. Hey there, Pat, how are you? Good morning, Gail. How about a $10 wagon? No. Are you talking about those little those? I am not a 95 year old woman. And I sure as hell, I can barely handle a backpack, let alone dragging a cart behind me. Because, yo, if I got to move, if I got to make a move, I need to move. I don't need to be dragging a cart. Where is this? We're around 6th Avenue and 25th. You guys, look in the distance, way down at the bottom, there's One World Trade. That's kind of how you can tell where you are, which way you're facing. One World Trade is the south tip of the island. And then if you look this way, well, you can't see it right now. I had to be across the street. Over that way would be the Empire State Building. What kind of twigs are we talking about? Oh, any kind of old twig. Ones that have buds on them, ones that have flowers on them, ones that have, I don't know, on them. Ones that are just absolutely naked. People love their twigs. They get their, I don't know, what would you say? It's not Martha Stewart anymore. What's the newest thing? What's the newest little designer person out there that everybody follows? Oh, they're part of the birthday crew. Who's ever birthday it is? We wish them a happy birthday. Yeah, backpack, tote bag, and small purse, yeah. Don't make me, don't make me have another appliance that I'm dragging around the city. I cannot do it. I just can't. It's not my vibe. Yeah, the new building does block the Empire State Building. I forget about that. You know, buildings pop up every so often and you'd be like, what? Skylines change all the time, especially here. She's got a very interesting hair. That was a very severe bang. Now I could never do the severe bang. Just couldn't do it. My head is too round, way too round. Hi, Darlene. Hey, Damien. Welcome in. Welcome in. Oh, it's the end of the week, which held tax week. It was tax week. Monday started it off. He has a Doja cat sweater hoodie. Hi there, EJ. Coming up on 23rd, another pretty major street here in the city. We're going to cut over one more time. say something and I completely blanked. I don't know what it was. I got distracted by that 
Doja Cat sweatshirt. Why? I don't know. But I did. I got totally distracted. Dang it. I hate that. I'm like, you know, a little ADHD there. Shiny toy syndrome. All right, we gotta wait for all the bikers to go by. So we can come up here. Oh, she done. Classy Coco, how are you? Whoop, whoop. It'll come to me as I'm walking, I'm sure. Thanks. Oh, Joe's haircut. See, Adriana? That's why you in here like that. You helped keep me on track. I was talking about bangs. Joe's haircut he got last night. He was so happy about that, guys. You don't even know. You got allergies eyes today? Oh my God, Janice. Yes. I feel you on that. Hi, Neville. One thing I love about NYC, all of the street vending. So much street vending. Street vending all over the place. And then there's illegal street vending. We don't even know. We don't care at the moment. But yeah, it's everywhere. Joe was so excited about his haircut. The fact that it was $7 blew him away. He was like, what? So it was $7. And so then he decided, oh my God. He goes, I can't give him a 10. I got it. He goes, $7, and I can't just pay that. So he gave him like double. Because that's still probably half the price of what he'd pay anywhere else. I know, you wouldn't even know. For real. He said last night, he goes, I don't care. I'll travel all the way down to Chinatown. A $7 haircut? What the hell? I'm like, I know. $7 haircut. Oh, uh, your body's like in, in shock because you got to sleep in. Like your body never knows what to do. It's just like when you get on vacation and you're like, it's vacation. I don't have anything to do. I have nothing beyond waking myself up and having breakfast and your body's up at five o'clock. Isn't that a great job for a great price? Right. I have no idea, Hassan. I do not follow wrestling. What did he buy? Oh, he bought locks. You can't get, yes, you can. You can get it, see Jim now, we all know. Down in Chinatown. Oh, hey guys. You want to see the fanciest looking Home Depot ever? Right here. This building right here, which always makes me laugh. This is Home Depot. I don't know what's on the other floors. I know that Home Depot though is on a couple of floors here, on the basement, this one, maybe the one above it too. How many $7 haircuts must they do in a day to pay for that? I don't know. I have not a clue. But $7, man. He could do it in 10 minutes. 70 bucks an hour. If he had two guys doing it, that's 140. I don't know. That's a lot of money. Say so he could only do five. That's only like 40 bucks. I don't know. I don't know. But they do it. Maybe they do a lot of other stuff. We're just going to go with it here. One of the perks in being able to get down to all those weird little stores. It does smell like, yeah, they have lumber and everything there. It's just more polished. All the big stuff is downstairs in that home, in that, in that home depot. Isn't that funny though? It's just funny. Like for real. That's home depot. 
Yes, they refurbish them all as much as they can. But a lot of the buildings and the frontages of them, like the facades, are historical. The city is old. Once they tore down the original Penn Station, which, you know, now is in re refurbishment from the hellacious, ugly piece of shit that it has been known for since they tore the original one down. That really spurred a whole thing in the city, a movement to actually save the architecture and the buildings and the history. It's quite an interesting story. So you will see all the buildings here. We'll have a lot of that vibe. Oh, let's go look at some of the Legos, guys. That's a whole wall of Legos. Do I ever drive myself in NYC? Yeah, but we have one car, which Joe drives. So I usually take all public transit. I know people do these, but I'm like, that's a lot of Legos. Like, is this really hard? Look at that back wall. That would be easy. That's like those diamond portraits, I feel. This one, I don't know. I would think it's kind of easy. No, all the pieces are like the same. The torture your feet shop, yeah. Don't, don't go stepping on these. Now some of these kits, guys, cost an enormous amount of money. Josh would get these. Oh look, this is the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Oh, this just the skyline. Free to a public transit is $2.90. $2.90. That's how much it is. So yes, you can get anywhere in the city for $2.90. Let's go. And you will get free transfers and stuff. Like, I took the subway to 59th Street walked across so I could get to the tram which was a free transfer on the tram to Roosevelt Island. Now it took me about a half hour or so to walk across. Your son was obsessed. It's a lot of pieces. Those things cost honestly I don't know they can be like three four five hundred dollars. It's a little nuts. Like to me that's a lot of investment in a toy. You know how Joe doesn't like to have to cook his own food and pay a premium? That's like cooking your own food and paying an extra premium. It's 350 where you are? Yeah, 290. Just went up from two something. I don't know. I think it's like 290. They raise it, so it's three bucks. Just gotta figure out all your little ways to get in and around places and you're good. Over here, that's Madison Square Park. Not Garden. Garden is where they do all the other stuff. That's Madison Square Park. Like I said, we're in the flatter area. We're gonna go all the way down to Union Square. Standard plastic model kits are better. I don't know what that is. Is that like the fake, the faux Legos? Is that like the Vagos? The Fagos? Yo, Anne, Jay Manuel, how are you? In the city, they have a lot of these little pedestrian areas. 
which have been blocked out by, as you see, the planters, other things, so that people can have a little space to sit, eat, enjoy the outside. Oh my God, 9,090 pieces. That's insane. Which Lego thing was it that they actually had the same amount of pieces for either a significant date or some significant number? I don't remember what it was. There was some Lego kit that did. Oh, we had the Harry Potter store, guys. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. For all you Potter fans, it's here. I remember when it opened. It's actually very cool in there. Oh, the one you assemble with glue. Oh my God, you mean like you're doing a throwback with model stuff. Oh my God. That was a nightmare because you blew something in the wrong spot. Crazy. I remember you had a use to get. Look at that's a Harry Potter herbology set we can all get our little stuff yeah my dad and my brother used to do those I did it one time and that was about it I would like glue my fingers together and stuff oh, heck, heck what was that what was the name of that bird Hedwig I don't know Get your cloaks. Everything Harry Potter. It's like Harry Potter mania in there for real. No, look. Harry Potter mania. Harry Potter mugs. It's crazy. of Disney we went to the Star Wars the Star Wars one which Joe has told me repeatedly was the most epic thing in the world for him on that trip like he was one stunned he was literally stunned that I made the decision on a last-minute thing and I was like we're going I want to go Yes, I am going to Union Square, Clara. Dinner was tasty, but I think the spicy was kicking myself last night. For real. I thought it was good, but... You 
you know, like yesterday was one of those days where I needed a lot of veg and I didn't have any. I had minimal veg. Yes. I do a lot of protein, yes, all the time. It was epic. Joe was excited. He was just shocked that I said, let's go. Because tickets were expensive. Anything Walt Disney is expensive. And then he was just so cool. And then we went to the bar, which was even cooler. He was like, you went all out. And I told him, I said, it's my treat. I wanted to do something that was specifically something that would be kind of like all about him. I mean, I enjoyed it, absolutely. But I knew that he would be over the top. Now, did I let him get a lightsaber? No. He did not need a lightsaber. He wanted me to get a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, all this stuff. I'm like, no, we're just going for the experience. That's what I had to tell him. I had to convince him that. We are super close to Union Square. Super duper close. What? Yo. Are those candles or glasses? I think those are glasses. We got sexy mama ones and sexy daddy ones. Oh my God. Could you imagine if I brought those home? Joe would be cracking up. Oh my God. Shut the hell up, guys. <gasps> I don't know if you guys from the Midwest remember this, but do you know what statue that is? What in the hell? I have to look at it. All right, we got I hope the damn signal holds because I got to look at this. out the big boy because guys that is like a thing for me you have a couple of what hands or the big boy you still have a bob's big boy what it's so cheap for five hundred dollars hey let me refresh the stream hang on guy let's walk I'd probably drop that on my damn foot. And I don't know if it was cast iron or what, but it was damn heavy. The figure was $500. 500 I don't know about the actual thing. I don't know if this twirling burger came with it, but it had a switch. Like, where could you get the twirling burger? Is it missing? They used to be sitting on top of all the restaurants and he would just twirl his burger. 
It was four, no, it was $499. If it was $4.99, I would have stuffed that in my bag. Come on. The plates were four for 15, and those were mismatched reused plates. Come on. $499. This is New York. What, I should have walked up there with my little marker and put a dot. Do I, knew, do I know the vlogger hair day? No. I thought he had bigger hair too, but maybe I only remember the fiberglass ones. That must have been like an original one. You know? Yeah, it would be the it would be a centerpiece like the leg lamp. I can't even imagine how much the big one cost. It's probably like 10, 15 grand. You know? It's like this ice cream cone when Benchy's done and gone is probably gonna be worth a lot. So steal it now. Yeah. <laughs> guys know I'm kidding. There's no theft here. Put it on layaway. I guess they're all signed. But I don't know. I don't know. I just saw the thing and I was like, I was tripping out. Like, was it a thing here in New York too? Big oh, boys? Okay. Sorry, that's how you were trying to call me. Called Elias Brothers. Elias Brothers Big Boys in Michigan. Called it Elias Brothers. There was like a big boy cake. Get it as a Sunday. Oh, she's here. Thank the thank the heavens. Thank the maker. We still have a big boy restaurant here down. Towards Milwaukee. I believe it. $500, that's almost monthly rent. That's just a drop in a bucket on my rent, but you know, get me five other, pay, you know, roommates. We'd make it. Okay, here we are, Blaine's here. That's her name, Blaine, not Blake, Blaine. All right, let's go see. We have the cherry almond crumb cake. All right, we're doing. You want a shopping bag? Uh, yes, because I got so much stuff in there, it's going to get us to wish. All right. What else do I want? What do you got in all? Oh, just spicy plain chive. Say it again. Spicy plain one chive. Flavor. It's one flavor. Just one. I'll take one of those. Did the burner already come and get all the brownies? No. <laughs> Not today. I would like one brownie. All right. So are 45. You here? Are you here tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I'll let her know. She was wondering. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> good morning. Afternoon. Good morning. How are you guys? Good to see you back here. Thank you. Good to be back. I got two muffins. I have raspberry coconut muffin. What? I might have to get one of those. Donut muffin. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you later. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Donut safe. Oh, good. I have a good time. It's gonna be nice. Anything will be better. <laughs> well, that, that's true too. Yes. Okay. Can I get two brownies? Yes. Um, a raspberry uh, coconut muffin. Yes. And then let's do two donut muffins. Okay. Sugar donut muffins. You want a shopping bag? Um. Just put them in separate. Yeah, you know what? Put it in a shopping bag, I guess. You're right. And then it'd be one bag. So you said a raspberry, the yes. fudge bars, and two cinnamon? Yes. Actually, make it one cinnamon and one of those. Pumpkin. Um, what's this one? That's cappuccino, cappuccino, right? Cappuccino. Do the pumpkin. Yeah. Perfect. For you. 25, please. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Good. 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 Good.
sit down and have it. I'm gonna have one of the muffins. Question is, is it gonna be pumpkin? Now, do they have? Keep an eye on somebody. Damn. Oh, there's a line of it. The Van Leeuwen is everywhere. I swear to God, guys. Van Leeuwen be popping up. All right, maybe I'm going to go into Joe Coffee. Not to get a coffee, though. I'm going to go into Joe Coffee. Maybe I'll get an iced tea. That would be tasty, right? I think so. But she was here today. Yeah. Oh, my. He's making beignets. He's making beignets. What the hell? Coffee and chicory. Coffee and chicory cafe au lait ice. Beignets. I think I just want. All right. We're going to do this. Wednesdays and Fridays. Wednesdays. Hey, what on your cafe au lait, what milk do you use? Uh, we use regular milk or uh, oat milk, whichever you would like. Okay. Um, you know what, can I just get an iced coffee? Sure. Okay. Just, uh, how would you like it? Yep, just black. Because I have milk and oat milk, which I can't do either. Her name is Blaine, and her place is called Off the Wheat. So she uses, um, the flowers she uses are like almond flour, coconut flour, things like that. I'm going to show you guys, oh my god, this tree is beautiful, some of the goods. Ooh, the little areas that are open here, we're going to go over here. In an area called by our lonesome, but perfect to overlook. I'll sit in the shade so I can see really well. Okay, take that off, set you guys down. She's on a Facebook page, and I think you can possibly order things from her. Don't quote me on that. I always tell people that. Please don't quote me. Her stuff is really good. All right. All around. Okay. When you're pooped, plop and take a nap. Yes. All right. You guys want to see what we got? The goods. Now we got Joe, his cinnamon muffin. It's like a cinnamon donut flavored muffin. That's what this is. Oh, that smells so good. This one is a cranberry coconut muffin. Now I'm gonna tell you, these muffins, you literally could split two of them because they're kind of heavy. 
you feel them they're not that kind of light airy muffin they're good they're good honking muffin and this is the pumpkin one which is the one i think i'm gonna eat everything in here is made with compliant sweeteners for keto or for those that are diabetic okay and that's the reason why i come here like i couldn't believe when i found her years ago i was freaking out oh and she didn't i would just message her i wish i could send it to people but as is food i don't know how to pack anything mm. okay it's very pumpkin-y I'm going to tell you, it is not a dry muffin. It's moist. Moist. Mm. Sometimes you just want that. Now, I would like more frosting, but I can't complain. Because I bought a muffin. I didn't buy a thing of frosting. So I'd be like, Angela. Ooh, that's good cream cheese. It's a cream cheese frosting. Now, these are the brownies. These are more like a fudge brownie, not a cake brownie, a fudge brownie. I'm gonna tell you, you could take a brownie like that. You could either have it throughout the day, split it with somebody. I'll usually have it and I slice it in fours. Yeah, she doesn't do like, she doesn't have like eclairs or anything. It's more baked goods. I know, moist. The brownies are super chocolatey. But they're good. Now, I've, I've tried a ton of different other keto bakers. There's hers. And that one person out of Georgia. Don't you love a good brownie? That one place out of Georgia that I've ordered from repeatedly, but I don't do it very often because I have to spend at least a hundred bu bucks, which you can do easily. It's called Zabawango. Now one of these celebrity chefs, you're making brownies today? That sounds wonderful. The person who does Zabawango, I'm pretty sure Is somehow connected with a celebrity chef? I think. I don't know. I could be lying. But I think she is. But I think it would be wild if there was people that actually put more people like this in the mainstream. Because it's not... I don't want to say it's hard to make it. I don't want to say it's hard to make it at all. It's just that we're not used to cooking with these ingredients. You know what I mean? I know. That's why I went and got this. I wanted to get a coffee, but I didn't want a hot coffee. I want a nice coffee. And if I don't have to go in the store, fine. I'll pay for the same price on the guy in the street. That's good. Joe will be pleasantly surprised. I got him a donut. So what is everybody's plans this weekend? I don't even know the weather. I haven't looked. Like I said, I'm planning to drive, uh, drive, take the train down to see Joe. So he doesn't have to drive all the way home in traffic just so we can go do something else. I'll go to him. Maybe we'll drive to AC. Darlene, sleep in. That's a good one, Darlene. That's because, you know what? It was tax season. I don't even know how you deal with it. 
Like, I don't even want to deal with my own taxes, let alone somebody else's. Now, I know that's the season you make your coin, but everybody has a strong point. A bridal show? Ooh! Oh my God, I haven't been to one of those in ages. I used to get dragged to those all the time. Leela, you're celebrating your mom's 85th birthday? Oh my God. Well, you and Adriana, make sure I know she doesn't know who I am. But you know what, carry, carry our wishes to her. Somebody that is celebrating 85 years, walking around in this crazy place called Earth. Damn, you a friggin' champion. I hope to make that. I hope to make that plus another 50. Now that would be a thing. Here, having a rodeo this weekend is a pretty big deal. Really? The closest thing I saw to a rodeo was when I went to the Minnesota State Fair. They had this whole thing where they did square dancing, but on horse. And that to me is cool. You're cleaning the chick incubator? I love that crazy grandma. You had 24, set 24, 19 hatch. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's not a bad thing. Hi, Apple Mamazon. Yes, everybody have a great weekend. Mow the lawn, wash the car before it rains again. Oh my God. Janice, that's a real thing. I told Joe that was the one th one of the things that I'm very glad we don't do anymore. Mow the lawn, clean up the gut yard, wash the car. Those were like the extra tasks that got handed to you every spring. Because in the winter, you really didn't wash the car very often because you didn't need the damn doors freezing shut. That was part of the problem. I mean, you would, but then you'd be like, mm, I don't know, man, it's gonna be cold. I, I'm gonna take the train to go down and see Joe. I have a friend that will take all the roosters. Oh my God, that's so cool. We're gonna put the rest of the goods in here. That's why I took my backpack today. Now I didn't get a cake because they have loaves. Like, you know, those cake loaves, whatever you wanna call them. Hi, Trevor76. I know winter was shoveling snow, but if you owned a Jeep, all you did was ride up and down the driveway and you said, F it. If anybody can't get up this driveway, I don't think I wanna see you. That's what it was. <laughs> you wanna supersize a duck? <coughs> well, you know, they had those floaty things. Joe is at work. We live in New York. He works for a company in New Jersey. That's how it is. We've done it backwards, or as some people would say backwards, ever since we moved here. Because Joe did not want to live in Jersey, and we had already done the live everywhere else thing. And we thought, if we have a chance to live in the best city, the biggest city ever, we're going to try. And that's why we did that. So now we pay exorbitant rent, which we would still pay an exorbitant rent if we lived anywhere else. Now you gotta think about this too, guys. This is something that was actually mentioned because I was, you know me, I go down rabbit holes. I was watching a cruise channel because I wanted to see what this room looked like on the Venezia by Carnival. And then they said that they were actually looking at possibly retiring on a boat. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not doing that because that's that's too much for me. But she made a they made a point of saying, yes, it's expensive. But here's the thing: you don't what part of just what part of Jersey? It works over in like it's close to the shore. I'm not gonna say the town because then you guys will Google the thing. But he works for a steel company. Now here's the thing, you don't end up buying like decorations for the house outside. You don't buy flowers for outside. You don't buy things and Christmas decorations and blow up things and all of that because you got nowhere to put it. 
and it's true here in New York, you don't kind of buy that stuff anymore. You don't buy seasonal placemats and dishes and things. Like you just don't because you'd have to store it. So they said, if you think about all the money and the stuff and the knickknacks and the souvenirs and the things that you would buy on a regular basis, because, oh, I thought it was cute. Or that'll be looking cute in the second bathroom. Or that would be nice for the guest bedroom. I guess if you have that much money and you have a big place, you could. But when you're like a regular person and you don't, and your stuff just pretty much fills, like you don't spend the money on that. And I'm always like, wow, that's very true. Yeah, I, exactly, Adriana, we have others that decorate for us. And we have the best Christmas tree. As I've always said, Rockefeller is our Christmas tree. Hey, Brian Sports and Entertainment. Oh my God, look, this tree behind me, do you see it with all the pink? That's called a red bud. I found out from my viewers, they told me this one time. I give credit where credit's due, I try to. And I always found it to be one of the most beautiful trees, especially in the spring when we'll flower, because the buds are all along the branch. And to me, the color of the buds against the, the bark, amazing. Like, it gives me vibe of Japanese, like Japanese watercolors. Do you know what I mean? It's just how I feel. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a good day. Got down to the market, found some baked goods. Grandmas always knew how to decorate. You're right, Christian, they did. My grandma did. I even had, I still have a few things from her, very small, like little tokens from my grandmother. You know, I don't think people will think that about me. They'll be like, this is some random shit that Angela had. <laughs> How's Atlanta? Have you been there before? I've driven through, I've never stayed and stuff. But guys, I want you guys to have a good Friday. It's Friday again, we made it through another week. Everybody give yourself a pat on the back, a round of applause. You guys did it again and stuff. It is one week to the birthday. My birthday's next Saturday. And um, we'll see what we'll do. I don't know, but it'll be something fun. It'll be birthday weekend. I feel like celebrating this year. Yes, Gail, you have a good one too. Everyone be sure to check out Fafo for Fafo Friday. Yes, he will be on probably. I think, I haven't heard. I haven't seen what they're doing. I haven't heard anything that they're making. I wanna know what it is, but I will be um, popping in hopefully to check it out. But you guys have a good Friday. Thank you for watching. This grandma has my grandma's Christmas stuff. Wow. How many square feet is my place, Luscious? Maybe 500. Maybe. It's teeny tiny. I'm like the genie in the bottle. Anyway, guys, enjoy your Friday. I'm going to sit here, call back Joe, because he called in the middle of the stream and find out what his deal is. But you guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Stay tuned.